Imagine this. Imagine Anybody in this room, if I could say, hey, somebody cured AIDS, y'all be like, yeah, right. Today, a Brooklyn man who masqueraded as a doctor has been arrested by the state attorney general. Can you cure AIDS? I have cured AIDS many times, sir, and I can cure AIDS again and again. AIDS has been cured by the Usha Herbal Research Institute. And it ain't been 24 hours. Please watch over and protect Nick if he's gonna take over when Nipsey left off. He offered cures for incurable diseases. He offered hope and life to those about to die. What they will do with AIDS is the same thing they do with everything else. They will figure out a way for you to live with We this start you on treatment protocols that are many times more toxic than what we're treating you for. He's an immigrant from Honduras who never went to school, college, or medical school. Yet the man known as Dr. Sebi claims to have found a cure for several life-threatening diseases, including AIDS. Too good to be true? Well, you be the judge. Herbalist Dr. Sebi has worked with Michael Jackson and Lisa Left Eye Lopez, and he says his line of cell food cures everything from chap skin to AIDS. What I did in the last six months, he made black people question the information that they were getting from their very own medical doctors. We have been misled not only by the foreigners, that are not part of our race, but we were also hoodwinked by our brothers that was trained by those people. Dr. Sabi did not have to go through university systems once he realized that the knowledge was all around him, that he was walking over medicine. I advise my viewers who might be questioning your authenticity that you won that case. Now, so if Sabi or the Bush Research Institute cure AIDS, who cure AIDS? The black race or Sebi? It is the black race. Dr. Sebi had brought so many levels of, of healing to our community. He, like many other, other, could have for surely been a target of powers that be. There is a group of people who do not want everyone to be here. We have cures for a lot of things, but that's not what keeps America going. So who's the real problem here? Is it Sabi or is it some pharmaceutical company that is willing to exploit us? This man has not objectively shown that what he does. I would say he either deserves a Nobel Prize or a term in jail, and I vote for the latter. So when yeah. I found out about Sebi, and it's really it's about his case. Oh, yeah. You know, niggas just tweet me, hustle, be careful, man. Your plane gonna go down. <laughs> I say niggas better ride for me. I say niggas better ride for me. I say niggas better ride for me. Anybody watching this, I want people to take Nipsey's lessons. So I don't want none of us to be afraid. Now, are you want a fast right now? Somebody yeah. said you're yes, fasting. Yes, I am. How long is the fast going to last? 40 days. It take about that 40 to really reset who you are as a person. And where are you now? Um, 11. And how does it feel? <clears throat> it feels wonderful. You fasting is the cure for everything. Do you I, have I, any, any food at all, any substance? Yeah, well, no, I drink juice, water. I like to do it to where... Uh, when I break my face, it's just with liquids. Drink sea moss. Sea moss? Sea moss. And what does that do for you? Sea moss, well, see, the body is comprised of 102 minerals, and sea moss has 99 of them. No kidding. So it's, it's... So you're feeling good? Yeah. Would you recommend this to a guy like Tyrese? I would recommend it for everyone. I don't know why Lisa would say that she was telling the word of Dr. Sebi, because she healed Dr. Sebi. She healed you? That's right. This young lady came to me because she needed help, right? Yes. Her eyes were blinking really fast, and she had a little thing that she was suffering with that she wanted to get rid of, and she got rid of them. And uh, one day she said to me, you know, it was 4 o'clock in the morning. She's in a 21 days fast. No, sorry. 
42 days fast. Mm -hmm. Lisa came in the hut where I was living with these two cups of sea moss. Sea moss is known as Chondros Crypsus. I had her drinking sea moss. She said, you know, you have helped me, but you need healing. Hmm. And she was right. The more light, the better. But if it's too much yeah, light, I was say, if it's it too, much too much light, that's so better. Like that. Let me see. That's better like this. Listen, you know, you have to push it down. Yeah. girls. Rain to come on. I'm not sure. recording. Where's the camera? Yes. I mean, just keep it right there. Get over there. Right there. Yeah. Hi. Honduras. Hey. Hello. Honduras. It's Honduras. Not over enough. Village. Oh, wait. One, two, three. I had three lizards in my room last night. We didn't kill a Okay. What was the mistake? Something was biting me. Yeah, okay, I was mad. This is the water. It comes out of the ground into here. As you can feel, it comes out of the ground hot. Okay? Feel the water. Ouch. It's very, very hot. All right? Now, it goes into the tank. You have some tank. I don't hear this that are the hot water and, and some tanks are yeah, cooling the water. I hear them. <laughs> right, the way these are built is the same hot water that's coming out those tanks, running through here. And the doors are closed and everything, so there's a lot of steam coming up. So if you, anybody wants to come in here, breathe, you know what I mean? Get the, the sulfur and the minerals and stuff in your lungs or just sit in there and sweat, lose a little bit of weight, whatever. Ooh, awesome. but, but let me tell y'all something about the water here. The water that you see coming out, going into that tank over there, it's coming out the ground. Now, that's natural water, and it's very, very high in minerals. It has a pH balance of 8, I think it's 8.9. That, that's a high for a pH balance. You know what I mean? Like, 7 is neutral. Anything above 7, what it starts doing, it starts killing bacteria and everything. To take advantage of the water while you're here for 30 days. Because when you get back home, the first time I came out here and went back home, I could smell the chlorine in the water, the fluorine, whatever they put in the water, you could smell it, you know, just from having been out here and taking a break from it. Mm -hmm. And it actually burned my skin. You know, that's how sensitive, once you get out here and start cleansing, and that's how sensitive you're gonna get to all that stuff when you get back to the States. You're gonna notice a big, big, big difference. So that's what I'm saying, while you out here, take advantage. Try to take a bath every single day in this water, okay? Over here. Yo, people, yo, people who have like prostate cancer and stuff like this, really, really, really good for prostate cancer. This, this stick right here will cure, clean, give you a natural high. It's unbelievable. Yeah, y'all gonna see, man. And and women. And another thing is, guys, when women drink that stuff, it makes them aggressive. That's why every time I come yeah. here and I get charged up and I go back home, I be on one, like, like what, you know, to cause all this trouble and stuff. Blame it on the omen grind. Um. People were cured of blindness, diabetes, and a whole lot of other stuff. You said people were cured. You, you helped? Yes, while I was there. Mm -hmm. That could believe in a theory. I do not lend myself to theories or philosophy. Mm -hmm. Either I know or I don't know. Okay. Where there was some requirement for you to actually bring patients, a, a patient into court from each of those maladies and that you brought multiple patients in court who one testified themselves and that you had medical medical records one showing that they were victims of the disease and then showing that it had been cured by one doctor and then a second doctor verifying what the first doctor had said yes the judge said that I had to bring one of every patient that I had cured. And there was one that said others. The others was a man that came from Italy. He was paralyzed. But I took, I was supposed to take nine. I took 77. You took 77 patients in court with you? That's correct.
life. He got arrested because he was printing in magazines that he cures AIDS and mm-hmm. sickle cell and cancer. And they like, that's false advertisement. That's malpractice of medicine, all type of thing. He wasn't no doctor. He just used herbs and his understanding of herbs. And he went to trial in New York. And he proved in the state of New York on record that he said, bring me y'all AIDS patients from y'all doctor. He treated them while he was on trial. He said, now have y'all doctors test them. The same ones diagnosed him with AIDS. Had him test them. 77 patients on record in 1985 by his herbs. Why we ain't never heard that? Why they ain't been on TV? They got a Tupac and Biggie, the 55th documentary they done made about the Tupac and Biggie murder. You know what I'm saying? But why we ain't seen no doc on that? Why we ain't, why that's not no headline news? You feel me? What's to me is the story is that he went to trial against the state of New York and won. Then the feds indicted him. And he went to trial against the feds and won. And the judge even said like, oh yeah, you know, my whole life I wanted to change the world. But I just ended up being a judge. But today I'm gonna find you not guilty and change the world. That was her statement at the end of the whole trial. By finding him not guilty, she gets to impact the world. And yeah, we ain't never heard that story. You got to search for that. Oh, you know, after that, they'll go into everything he's done and, you know, figure out exactly how powerful dude was and why he ended up mysteriously dying in jail recently. So, you clean the intestines, your eyes begin to clear up. This is a science that is unknown in the world. Known or unknown? Unknown. Unknown. But it worked for me. Mm-hmm. I had cured many lupus before. Okay. Again, mm-hmm. all they have to do is call the office in Los Angeles. And they will send him a package and an eye wash and a stomach wash. They say that disease is what? Germ, virus, bacteria. I said, no. It's the food that you eat. Mm -hmm. The food better be consistent with you. She can come to the village in Honduras. Does that still exist? We have people in the village right now from all over the world. My parting word would be this. Make sure that whenever you put something in your mouth, that that something is going to compliment you and that it's going to serve you well. It's going to support your nervous system because if you doesn't if you don't you will find yourself stressed not only are you going to find reasons to dislike me you're going to dislike yourself glucose is the greatest enemy that you could ever be faced with <coughs> avoid it because the one thing you want to do is to love, and that love should begin with you. Once you love you, you love the whole world. It's easy, it's delicious to love everybody and everything. Fruit and fruit alone. Of course, I wanted to meet him face to face, the fruitarian, Michael Arnstein, and he joins me now. Thanks for having me. Wait, how did you arrive at this? I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a runner, marathon runner, and I, I wanted to see how fast I could run a marathon. And I knew I had to lose body fat. That was the main thing. And, and I, I read a couple books uh, about raw food diets. And I said, you know what? I'll give it a try. And uh, it, it just it grew for over time to become just an incredible change in my life. So, so this, I mean, because people immediately say, as you said, this is fringe. You're doing this for health reasons, which you may be. But really, it was about your running time specifically. That's what you were trying to accomplish. Yeah, I wanted to try to break two hours and 30 minutes in a marathon, which is considered very quick time. And I, I, I was able to do that eating a fruit-based diet, mostly fruit, all raw. And then I just said, you know, how far and how fast can I go? And then I started running 50-mile races and then 100-mile races and then 150-mile races. And I just I couldn't get sick. My body wouldn't break down. And I kept performing at a higher and higher level. And I'm just astonished at the results of what I've, I've, I've experienced. But most doctors and scientists will look at this and say, look, the immediate thing that I'm sure you've heard a thousand times, you're not getting enough of fill in the blank, enough protein. certain proteins, certain fatty acids, certain amino acids, all of that. And that may be true, but your response is, look at me? Yeah, I, I, I say study me. You know, how is this happening? Um, I'm doing this for performance-based reasons. Uh, the, of course, there's this great you know, environmental and, and, and moral benefits to it, but I'm doing this for performance. And, and 
and I haven't stopped because my performance keeps improving. So did you try other things? I mean, in this quest for performance, do you try all the, all the things that are typically recommended to try and improve your performance? Yeah, I've tried all the things in the vitamin shops and all the supplements, and I tried protein diets, and I, I, I've tried everything. Uh, and, and this, eating nothing but raw fruits and vegetables, primarily fruits, has absolutely transformed me as, as a person. I've become almost superhuman. And I, I, I eat a lot, as most animals do in nature. Uh, I eat up to 6,000 calories a day. I've got uh, anywhere between 3 and 5% body fat. Um, and I, I don't get sick. I don't get injured. Um, I was the fifth American in the New York City Marathon a few years ago. I've run the uh, seventh fastest 100-mile time ever as an American. Um, and, and I just, I've got mental clarity. I don't get dry skin. I don't have mucus in my nose. I don't wake up with crust in my eyes. I just, I, my, I don't have earwax. I just, I, I'm alive. I'm absolutely healthy. I'm vibrant. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, oranges. You About 15 oranges. 15 oranges? Yeah. We didn't used to eat 15 oranges when we were evolving as human beings. Uh, if you came across an orange tree and you were hungry, you'd <laughs> eat 15 oranges. <laughs> Appreciate you being on. Thanks. Thanks so much. Like I'm hearing double, like it's just crazy, bro. So I want you to go into it's that. It's not that I'm afraid of it. It's just that I stay away from spiritual conversations because it's like, you know, p people, people take, people try to destroy things that are sacred it's and powerful, beautiful sure. they don't and know. powerful. But yeah, how would that look? Though? Why, why does it matter? In the, in why does it matter? You know what I'm saying? So we out you. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Because like, <laughs> like, like, you don't want no filter. <laughs> be, I, I was trying to like kind of keep everybody, kind of no. keep my wingspan around everybody. But if you want to, when I need something, when I'm really in need, like if I need the answer, I need clarity, I stop eating. I hate to like, I know this sound weird to people when they hear this, but it take, it take about that 40 to really reset who you are as a person. That 20, so, that 21, that 21 gonna be a complete like reset. But then once you get in that 40, man, close to them 30, that's when things get weird. See, I was doing- In I a good way. The slower you go, the further you get. The slower, further you get. the slower you go, the further you get. If you can only do two or three days, mm -hmm. then one day work your day to six days, work your way just, you know, going slow. I ain't just go straight to the 40. Right. I did like three. Sure. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Then I started doing like seven. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's cool. Did 20 some days one time. I'm like, man, I'm about to go that whole 40. I know I could do it. Right. And I had weak moments, but yeah. that's where prayer come in. That's when I tap into my spirit. Sure. I don't know why people want you to think that the spirit, uh, Holy Spirit come into your, your spirit is already holy. Out of five billion sperms, you was the one that made it. I heard Dick Gregory say that. Your spirit already hold it. It was supposed to be you. What, what I've done was to discontinue anything that had glucose. Glucose is the underlying enemy. Whenever you indulge in glucose, it would be difficult to lose fat. Mm -hmm. I live in Honduras. Yes. Okay. I'm California. In Honduras, I discovered a plant known as Cusca. Okay. Cusca is a plant that the Maya used to use. Mm -hmm. And they used another one known as the Teosinte. Okay. I eat those plants. Those plants does not have starch or glucose. Uh -huh. You will look at your body losing weight and you're going to get frightened. We have a thermal water there that has a pH of 9.8. A pH of 9.8, meaning that this substance has a high level of oxygen. Uh -huh. And it is oxygen that the body needs, okay. not rice or beans or a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. It needs oxygen. That is the fuel of the body. 
So I drink the water, and I would drink, eat that kuska. Uh -huh. This is a plant that I just discovered lately that the Maya used to eat. Okay. Kuska is uh -huh. delicious. It tastes like cucumber. Uh -huh. So I ate that, the kuska plant. I drink the water, and that was it. You'd be surprised what water does. You see, water, I learned the uses of water in Ecuador. The people of Vilcabamba, their diet is 78% water, 22% huh. solid. Uh -huh. Because the body doesn't need that solid food. It needs fuel, and the fuel comes oxygen and water. Let me ask you, you said the pH yes. in your village, where the thermal water is, yes. is 9.8. 9.8. And that is compared to what would be in the American water system here? Any idea? Well, 9.8 is a very high level pH. It's hydrogen ion concentration. A high level of pH and show that you have the amount of oxygen that the body needs, also the minerals. You find that in the thermal waters. In America, there is water here because there was Trinity. Trinity water was thermal, and it was 9.8. Uh -huh. Yes, you find it in America also.